Hi everyone. Hope all are doing good at home. This is for class 7 science. Chapter 2 nutrition in animals. This is video number 1 for chapter 2. Last chapter we studied about nutrition in plants. Plants are autotrophic. All of you understood the autotrophic nutrition in plants. Animals are heterotrophic. Heterotrophic means, all of you know that, hetero means other and trophic nourishment. So, animals depend upon others. So, either they depend upon plants or any other animals. Such type of nutrition is known as heterotrophic nutrition. So, that type of nutrition is also known as holozoic. Holozoic means animals are taking in food in the form of solid particles. That type of nutrition is called a holos. And now, class 6, you already studied the different types of heterotrophic nutrition. On the basis of the food animals eat, they are divided mainly into five groups. Number one, herbivores. You know that those organisms or those animals which eat only plants and plant products, they are called herbivorous animals. So, example, Cow, goat, etc. Number two, carnivorous animals. Those animals which eat only flesh of other animals. Example, lion, tiger, etc. Third one is omnivores. Omnivores bo eat both plants and animals. Example, human beings, crow, etc. Fourth one is parasites. Parasites, last chapter we studied. They are depend upon other organisms, means they are living in other organisms. So there are two type of parasites are there, ectoparasites and endoparasites. Those parasites live inside the body of an organism that are known as endoparasites, examples roundworm, turpworm, etc. Ectoparasites means they are living outside the body, example lice leech etc. Then fifth group is scavengers. Scavengers you know that they are eating the remains of dead animals. Example vulture, crow etc. So these are the different type of heterotrophic animals or divided on the basis of the food they eat. Now, then we have to study about the process of nutrition. Process of nutrition has basically five steps. What are they? For number one, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, ingestion. You have to learn all these steps in order only. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ingestion. What is ingestion? Ingestion is the process that taking in food. That means eating food, just taking in food. Food. Different animals have different ways for eating the food. So we know that human beings uh, take in food in the through the mouth. Okay. So this way, some um, many animals are taking in their food through the mouth. Some swallow the food. Some suck the food. So that type of uh, taking in food is known as ingestion. This is the first basic step of the process of nutrition. Second step. Digestion. Digestion, we know that we are eating very complex nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, etc. So these food are very complex and it is insoluble. So these food should be break down. So breaking down the process in which the breaking down of complex insoluble food into simple and soluble food. That process is known as digestion. This is the second step. Third step is absorption. Digested food that should be absorbed by our body through the body fluids in the organisms. So in human beings, digestion completes in small intestine and from the small intestine it is absorbed to all parts of our body. That process is known as absorption. Fourth step is assimilation. This absorbed food should utilized by our body, used by our body. And for what? For releasing energy and for the proper growth and development. 
This process is known as assimilation. And last, we know that all food not digested by our body or undigested food should be removed. So that process is known as ingestion. The removal of undigested food from our body. These are the five basic steps of the process of nutrition. All of you understood? Once again I will say ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ingestion. All the five basic steps. These are the five basic steps in animals in the process of nutrition. Now we have to study about the next is nutrition in amoeba. Amoeba is a microscopic unicellular organism. Do you know what is unicellular organism? Single celled organisms. Microscopic means very small. We cannot see with our naked eyes. It is it can be seen only through microscope. So it has only one cell. That is why amoeba is a microscopic unicellular organism. It's most mostly found in water or moist soil. It has no definite shape. It is irregular in shape. It can change its shape. It has a cell membrane, a rounded dense nucleus and is many small bubble like vacuoles in the cytoplasm. This is the structure of a amoeba. Now we will see the picture of amoeba in which the nutrition takes place. How the nutrition takes place in amoeba. All these five steps, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and digestion, all these are done by the single cell of amoeba. Okay. So here you can see the picture of amoeba. Amoeba has a false feet. That false feet is also known as the pseudopodium. You can see the picture of the pseudopodium. Okay. How amoeba eats the food? When a food particle near, comes near to the amoeba, then it engulfs its food. That means it absorbs or ingests the food by slowly wrapping by this pseudopodia. Okay, all of you understood? By slowly wrapping by the finger like projection or the false feet, we can say that is known as the pseudopodia. Okay, then it uh, round around the food. Then what will happen? The food become trapped now and it become inside the organism. And uh, inside the food vacuole. They made a vacuole that is known as the food vacuole. Now the food is engulfed and it is captured inside the food vacuole. Okay. Then second process, that process is known as ingestion and second process is digestion. Digestive juices are released in the food vacuole and these juices break down the food into simpler and soluble substances. So digestion takes place in that way. After that, absorption. This digested food in the food vacuole is absorbed into the cytoplasm so that the whole organism can absorb the food. Then fourth step is assimilation and through this assimilation the absorbed food gets stored and then utilized for its growth and releases energy and all the other things. All the life process can be takes place by this food. So this food is absorbed and utilized. That process is known as assimilation. And undigested food or the waste material is simply expelled out of the body. That process is known as ejection. So all the five steps all of you understood now. So these are the five steps uh, in amoeba. All the five steps I hope all of you understood. First the food particles are absorbed or engulfed by the pseudopodia. Digested inside the food vacuole. Absorbed inside the body and assimilated, utilized inside the body and simply the waste products or the undigested food is expelled out through the cell membrane. This way amoeba digested its food or the, nutri the process of nutrition in amoeba. 
now hope all of you understood this much now the class work the class work notes as well as question answers i will be uploading in the parent portal all should write this in the class work copy and some uh, two or three homework questions also i will give today so you have to write that questions you can get the answers from the notes as well as the video so you will write it in your class work copy and uh, next video i will explain the next part of this chapter thank you